Hi Pasco, my name is Jared Hymiak and I go to Wiregrass Ranch High School and I am in 11th grade. Today I'm going to be doing a fun spin on the brunch classic chicken and waffles and I will be doing chicken and a citrus French toast. But we're going to be focusing more on the French toast as poultry is an entirely different chapter. Okay, so we have our mise en place in place. Uh, we put a mixing bowl in the freezer because we're going to be making whipped cream later and that helps it whip faster. So we're going to start with the cutlets, that way they're done about the same time that the French toast is done. So we're going to wait till the oil is hot and you can tell by hovering your hand just a, a little bit above, make sure you're being safe. And we're going to give that just a little bit to heat up. And while we wait, we're going to add about a cup or a half cup of heavy cream and a teaspoon of sugar. And then I did a half a teaspoon each of orange extract and vanilla extract. And then I'm going to really quick put these in. You're going to want to wash your hands. We're going to add about a teaspoon of orange zest and two egg yolks. Now the way you want to do this is you crack open the egg and you flip the yolk in between the two. Back and forth until you have just a yolk. I like to do just the yolks because it helps avoid um, the scrambled f egg flavor in your French toast and it helps just make it taste more rich. Whisk this all together to make sure it's all nice and evenly blended. And I put the orange zest in now because I really like that orange flavor in my French toast. I tried it once um, actually with Chef's recipe, Chef Blythe, and he, we had to do a breakfast lab for him and it just came out so good that now I never make French toast without orange. That mixture aside, we're going to come check the chicken now that I think it's almost done and we're gonna, the way that we do that, the safest way to do that is with the kitchen thermometer. So you put them on a paper towel lined plate and the reason we do this is to help soak up the oil that's at the bottom of the chicken. Before making the French toast, we're going to start making the mixture. And the way that we do this is we start with the cream cheese, put that into the bowl and we get a hand mixer. You can do this with a whisk, but it's a lot easier to do a hand mixer. It kind of beats it into being softer. And then we're gonna slowly add some heavy whipping cream in. We have a tablespoon. And I should say we used one package of cream cheese. And then we're going to scrape off the sides really quick. And while we're doing that, I'm going to add orange zest. Should scrape off the mixer too. So we're going to add in a teaspoon of orange zest as well as three tablespoons of sugar, Mix and we're going to start heating it. And now that it's a lot softer, we can begin folding with our spatula, 
And once it is how we like it, once we're happy with it, we can add our strawberries. We have about a quarter cup of strawberries in there, which we're going to fold in to our mixture. And the way you do a mixture, you, the way you fold is you do a circle and then half. Circle, half. Circle, half. And then that is our mixture. So, we've got our French toast batter finished, our filling finished, and now we're going to get started on our whipped cream. So I am going to get from the freezer our mixing bowl and the whisk attachment. And we've also been chilling our heavy whipping cream, which I just pulled out. And the reason that we make everything so cold when we're doing this part is because it just makes everything, it makes the whipped cream beat so much faster when all the entities of it are cold. We're gonna start by adding our heavy whipping cream. We have probably a cup and a half in here. I just put what's left over from our cotton. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And two teaspoons of sugar. I might have put a little bit more in <laughs> And you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon zest in because we have some more. Why not? So with whipped cream, we're gonna start it on low and then we're gonna slowly increase the speed. That way we're just preventing it from splashing around everywhere. Now while that's going, we're going to come salt the French toast. We're going to do it over here where it's a little bit less loud. <laughs> so, we're going to be using some brioche today. And what you do is, you just dump them in. It soaks for just a little bit. And then you bring it to the pan, which I've already preheated with oil, but I'm going to add a little bit of butter for some flavor. Let that swirl around. Then we're going to add all French toast. While this is cooking, I'm going to go back and check on the whipped cream. First of all, I'm going to wash my hands. Then we dry to prevent spreading things. And just like that, our whipped cream is ready. You can tell by the stiff peaks it formed because if you hold it upside, upside down, it doesn't fall over. Okay, so now I'm checking my French toast. See if it's ready, and it's not quite ready yet. So we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna go get my piping bag so we can pipe some whipped cream later. Okay, so I just flipped my French toast, and as you can see, we have enough batter for two more pieces of French toast. So this makes enough for two. So now that our French toast is done, we're gonna be working on plating which means that we're going to be working with RTE, also known as ready-to-eat foods. Now the rule is, if the food is going to be cooked, you can just wash your hands and then you're good. But if you're working with RTE foods, you need to have gloved hands. So, I have gloves on and we are going to be filling a piping bag with whipped cream. And I know to a lot of people this can be intimidating, but it's not that bad. You just you get your piping bag, you fold it over at the top, 
and you stick your hand in that fold. And then if you need to, you stick your hand in to make sure you got a nice, very clear path. And then put some on your spatula, you stick it in, and you scrape it against your hand. And you keep filling with whipped cream. This works for anything that you want to fill a piping bag with. As long as your thing, as the whatever you're filling it with isn't too runny, you can fill a piping bag with whatever you want. And then you can just kind of jump it a little bit. And from there, you close the piping bag and you scrape it down. So that way it gets to the bottom. and tie it and make sure you get that first little bit out. There you go, because you hear that little air bubble escape. And you are ready. Now that we have everything together, we're gonna go to my favorite part. We're gonna assemble. Now, of course, you can just put it together normally and just eat it as is, but I figured why not make it, assemble it, kind of fun. See how creative you can be with assembly. So I'm gonna, I start with a square plate, but let's make it a diamond. And I'm gonna, at the corner, I'm gonna put down my piece of French toast, and I'm gonna get an ice cream scoop for the filling. And we're gonna do a good big scoop. There we go. And then the top piece, I've got two triangles. And so why not make a little house? Hmm, I'm not so sure I like that. Um, how about, ooh. Hmm. The best part about garnishing is you get to play with it. I think I like it like that. Next, I'm going to do some whipped cream. And I'm going to try my best. Doesn't have to be perfect. To do a fun little dollop. Right there. And then... Let's try to do this little butterfly I made. You just get two little, like that of an orange, and then make little, two little slivers of lime to make antennas. And look at that, you have a little butterfly. Maybe if I put a blackberry here, and then a little blackberry here. I don't know, because that makes me happy. And then I'm going to sprinkle on a little lime zest. Just all over. And then lastly, we add our chicken. And then I think it is ready to be served. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank Chef Blythe and the Wiregrass Ranch Culinary Academy for providing me the opportunities that it has. Thank you.